So this is my Espalier um, Eureka Lemon. <clears throat> I've owned this tree for about three years now. It's a semi-dwarf tree. <clears throat> and it's, um, it outgrew its pot. It was in a 15 gallon pot like that before. And it just got too hard to take care of in the pot because it was root bound and it had um, um, too many roots and it was like, um, it dried out so quickly. So I decided to, um, I didn't have any space in my yard. So I decided to <clears throat> see if I could espalier it for this little side area right here, which is about, I don't know, two feet, two feet wide. And um, it formerly was bushy, and I had to, I just sort of, kind of had to do a lot of cuts on it. And I think I, one of the branches right here is a little bit messed up. Um, but that's okay, if that one ends up dying, I will just um, cut it off, I guess. The rest of them, are pretty good. I had to prune off about a third of the tree um, to get it into this shape. And then as it continues to grow, I will probably, okay, this one probably should go up, I think. Maybe what I'll do is I'll tie that one up, <clears throat> start training it up the, the trellis, like right here and here. So maybe I'll do that when I turn off the camera. So <clears throat> this one might need to be cut, but we'll see. Um, so this is my espalier lemon. We'll see at the end of the year if it can hold on to these. I think I did a pretty good job. I didn't do a lot of, um, there wasn't a lot of um, transplant shock as far as I could tell. Um, so it's, um, we'll see. This is my espalier eureka lemon.